Um, once they get their basic fundamentals down and they can throw a good hard fastball and hit spots with it, then they're going to start working on the changeup. So I thought I'd touch on some real easy changeup stuff for you to go over. But um, as you're watching them warm up and do a short drill with the changeup, I want to talk about a few things that are important that you need to hear on this videotape. One is making sure you watch your pitcher getting into a good fielding position when they're done throwing. Do not sacrifice the pitch to get into the fielding position, but make sure that they're working on getting into a good fielding position. So the best way to do that is by actually having them pitch and you hit ground balls to them. And so you should also remember your pitchers are fielders and they need to know how to take ground balls and throw to first base and all the other bases. Also, the, but here's a good uh, example of how to set up a practice for your pitcher. First, they would do the drills that I showed you um, with the weighted ball and then without. Then they would work their fastball. They would work their fastball hitting spots. Uh, they can throw counts or do the sets like we talked about. They can actually have a hitter stand in with a helmet and you can uh, work on your changeup or um, any other pitches that you're beginning to learn as a young pitcher. Okay. Um, and uh, one more thing I want to talk about is uh, some of the most commonly asked questions that I am asked as far as pitching is concerned. Um, one of them is how do I increase my pitcher's speed? Like we talked about, good mechanics will increase your pitcher's speed, increased leg drive will increase your pitcher's speed, uh, good arm speed will increase it, throw from distance, doing the speed drills, increasing the wrist snap of the weighted ball and increasing your pitcher's strength. Um, also, doing cross training uh, with running or stadiums, stuff like that, will increase your pitcher's speed or plyometrics. Um, when it comes to accuracy versus speed at a young age, if they have good mechanics and you work a good hard throw, their accuracy should be there. I think a lot of young coaches, or coaches of young girls, I should say, try to have the girls slow down to throw strikes, and it's better to have them just work throwing hard and good mechanics because the slowing down forces them to lose their release point.